My name is Sophia Sartaj, and I'm an eighth grade student at Elmo Moore. Today I want to share with you a poem I wrote. The poem is about one of the most difficult things as a Muslim, and that is the balance between your culture and your deen. It's an inevitable conflict that is very difficult to navigate. But with a strong foundation at home and the reinforcement of the importance of Islam taught by Islamic schools like al Moore, I find the guidance to successfully navigate it. I hope my poem will help everyone understand how important it is to support Muslim schools so that we don't have a confused generation of Muslims. So here it goes. My culture. My culture will always be a part of me. From the language I speak to the kind of bread I eat, the naans, the pratas, and of course the rotis, and all the traditions I keep alive. From the spices in the biryani I like to cook, to the way my, my shawar kameez looks, it's true, my culture will always be a part of me. It's a culture passed from one generation to the next, defined by the struggles and sweat of those who came before, full of customs and values I will always adore. But did you notice? I only said a part of me, not all of me, because in its totality, being a Muslim is my true identity. So let it be known that my Islam takes priority. When you're singing and dancing are used like acts of worship. When failing to wake up for school is punished, but Fajr is okay to be skipped, know that my Islam takes priority. When cousins are to be thought of as brothers and hijab is only meant for the others, and the learned youth are not allowed to remind the elders, know that my Islam takes priority. When birthdays are the best days and Eids are like any other work day, when the days of the kuffar become our way, know that my Islam takes priority. My culture will always be a part of me, the customs and traditions of my family, but my Islam takes priority. When you mourn those who pass in ways that cannot be found in Islam's glory days, and you tell me wearing makeup is a must, but I know the henna I'm allowed is enough. Don't you see? Modesty is a key for me because my Islam takes priority. When gathering with family becomes nothing more than a gossip party and you wonder why you can't find me, it's not a place I want to be because my Islam takes priority. Remember, my culture will always be a part of me, but it's my Islam that tells me how to behave and how to be, how to get closer to the one who lets me breathe. So please know, if I ever have to choose, the decision is easy. My Islam is my priority.